I'd like to turn it over now to Coach Earl Sims, who not only is Deshaun's coach, but his mentor and, and really his second father. So, Coach Sims. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge the young, other two men, uh, Lavelle Davis Jr. and Devin Chandler and their families and communities mourning this senseless loss of life. Our South Florida, Richmond Heights, University of Virginia, and Gulliver communities all stand with the Perry family and express our sincere, heartfelt sympathies as we all mourn the loss of Deshaun Perry. Deshaun was a beautiful soul whom I, among many, had the privilege of meeting. If you look at his picture and if you just came in contact with him, his smile would light up a room. I echo the sentiments of several of my colleagues when I say that Deshaun was a delightful, respectful, hardworking person who was one of the best overall young men our communities had to offer. Sure, he was an athletic three-sport athlete with a high motor and a fierce competitive nature, but he was also, to his core, kind, thoughtful, and caring. Deshaun believed in God and had a strong faith. Some words from his fellow teammates from last night's Zoom call was, Deshaun loved people, he loved me. Deshaun helped people and showed us the way we should live our lives. Everyone on that call was grateful for his brotherhood. The last thing that I would say is he was like a son to me. He was a gentle giant who added value and purpose to my life as well as others. He'll truly be missed, but we'll make sure that his legacy lives on. There has been a huge outpour of support from each of the communities Deshaun positively impacted. And I ask that we all keep it up in the coming weeks because the family is going to need it. And that we please continue to keep all the families of the victims in our prayers. Before I step away from this podium, there are two things that I, there are two things I have to read. Uh, and they are, they are things that Deshaun created in the form of English assignments. The first one is titled Bigger Than Me. I chose Bigger Than Me by Big Sean to represent my junior year because I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany that when we were in football practice and we were practicing with the teams from the middle school, one kid came up to me and said, I want to become just like you when I go to high school. I realized that it's not just about me in the sense of what I want to do, but the people that helped me get to where I am right now and those ones who look up to me to this day. I know my parents have done, their, done all they could to get me into this school and give me everything that I have today. So in return, whatever I do in the future, I will make sure that whoever has helped me become successful will receive something in return. All I want to do is make my family and the city I'm from proud. And then one more, one more piece. This was an assignment Deshaun completed about underdogs. This was his introduction, and it's a testament of how he lived his life. Imagine a situation where no one believed in you. Imagine every odd stacked against you and it looks like you will never get the job done. Critics telling you that you are nothing and you will never win anything. This is what being an underdog feels like. I've been in many situations where I or the team I was playing on were considered underdogs. 
But even though there was the hate and adversity, we turned it into motivation and overcame those odds. Many people didn't believe in our team. People called us too small or a team without much talent. Many didn't believe what we could do, but we proved them wrong anyway. My favorite example of being an underdog and proving everyone wrong would be my first homecoming game of my high school football career, one that I won't forget as long as I live. Thank you.